How's it going everyone? This is Travis from Laura Gear Photo and this morning we are out at Laguna Beach at Crescent Bay and I'm looking to get some cool shots of the beach with my Mamiya RB67 medium format film camera. And so what we're hoping to accomplish today is to get some shots of the rocks and maybe some long exposures with some nice silky water coming in over the rocks because it's a really cool location down here so hoping to get some good stuff. So right now I'm at this little spot uh, on the rocks where we have a nice foreground, middle ground, and background element with some of the water coming in. And one of the most important things about landscape photography is your composition. So you wanna give your photo a bunch of depth by using the foreground and background objects. Uh, that will lead your viewer's eye straight to the back of the photo. And so what I wanna do with this photo is give the water a little bit of a silky smooth effect. And so by doing that, in order to achieve that, we actually have to slow down the shutter speed of this camera, slow enough to about two, at least two, maybe five seconds, uh, and that should probably be good. So this morning I'm shooting on my Mamiya RB67 medium format film camera, and I just loaded in a roll of Ilford Delta 100. So we're gonna have uh, about 10 shots at six centimeters by seven centimeters a piece. So this little device right here is called a spot meter. And what this instrument does is that it has a lens on it and you point it at any part of your scene that you want to evaluate the light on because most light meters like in a digital camera will cover the entire scene but one of these will cover just a very small spot and so by doing that we're able to figure out the exposure that we can best retain detail in both the shadows and the highlights so in this case the shadows are in those rocks right there and that at f32 is about a second and then if I'm pointing to the brightest area of the scene, which in this case is my sky, at F32, that's about an eighth of a second. And so by taking the average of the both of those to be able to get both good shadows and good highlights, we're gonna look at about a half a second for this exposure. But I don't wanna use that fast of a shutter speed. I have to slow down the shutter speed in order to get the silky smooth effect of the water and that's where neutral density filters come in. The purpose of this filter is essentially like sunglasses for your lens. What it does is that it's actually a solid piece of glass that will block the light from coming in and thus forcing your camera to go faster. So I'm going to put that in right near the back slot of my filter holder. But also another filter that I'm going to put on my camera just to get a little bit more contrast is this yellow filter. And what color filters do in black and white photography is it helps you control the contrast. So because I have a lot more shades of yellow in the rocks and I want to bring out the detail in that instead of the detail in the water because that's going to be silky smooth anyways, I'm going to throw this on and what that's going to do to the rocks and all of the yellowish tones in the scene is that it's going to brighten those up and anywhere where there's more bluish tones it's going to darken it. So yellow is kind of a weak effect, but if you move up to orange or even red, the effect gets more and more visible. So I'm gonna place that filter right up front. Now that we have a neutral density filter on the front of our camera that blocks out the light, we have to adjust the exposure for our scene. So right now I'm metered at about a half a second at F32, but this neutral density filter takes out about three stops of light. So I have to click back one, two, three. So that's at about four seconds, so that's about where I wanna be at. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a couple of exposures at different speeds just to get different effects and see which one looks the best after developing. It's actually perfect right now because over on the last set of rocks in my photo, we actually have two pelicans that are perched on top. So hopefully if I can get the shot in time, they'll still be in the photo. Hopefully they'll stay still. The most important thing about using a big complicated camera such as this is that you have to make sure that you have every single step right in order to use this camera because with film, if you don't get it right, you lose that shot. You can't just go back in your memory card and delete it. And so I have to go through an entire mental checklist just to be sure that I have everything right before I click the shutter. Dark slides out, first shot, that, eight seconds, 
I'm gonna wait for the waves to come in before I start my exposure. That'll give me a greater effect. All right, so that was our first exposure. And I'm gonna take a second one at eight seconds, which is gonna make our image a little bit brighter because we have the shutter open for longer. So that'll give a little bit of a different effect and hopefully a greater effect on the mist of the water. One of the coolest parts about this camera is that if you wanted to take a landscape orientation photo, you leave it just is. But if you wanna take a portrait orientation photo, you actually can just turn the film back up and down. Because this camera is heavy already, it's a lot better that I don't have to actually flip the camera on its side in order to get it to work. So I'm going to take another four second exposure as well as an eight second exposure just to get a different orientation. So I found this new scene that has really cool foreground, middle ground, and background element, but I'm really excited because this tripod, with its ability to get really low, can get a cool perspective. So I bracketed about, I'm going to do a, at F32, I'm going to do one second and also two seconds just to make it a little brighter. Dark slides out. And we're on shot number five. So I had to change my second location real quick because I was originally supposed to shoot at Inspiration Point in Corona del Mar to look for this specific shot within one of the uh, sea cliff caves, but unfortunately I couldn't because there was a uh, 5K going on, so that kind of bugged me a little bit. But um, instead I'm here at Back Bay in Newport Beach, which is a protected marine habitat, so it's pretty cool. They have a nice trail for bikers and runners uh, that goes about for three miles on a loop, so it's pretty cool. So I just wanted to finish off the rest of this roll and there's a lot of cool like dirt paths with these pylons uh, around here. So I wanted to just get a couple really nice shots. So we'll see how they turn out. So that's gonna be it for today, guys. I wanted to thank you again for coming here to my YouTube channel and watching these new videos that I've been making. I'm really excited to make more of these uh, photography on location videos so that you guys can just kind of come with me as I come out in the field and just do something that I truly love and really am passionate about and I'm passionate to share all of my experiences with you guys. So go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Follow my Instagram account at instagram.com slash photo. Like my Facebook page at facebook.com slash photography. And finally, visit my website at www.lareverephoto.com. See you guys later.